I'm your worst football manager ever and welcome to episode 4 of a beta Bath City. This is my beta save on FM16 and you join me um, when I'm 5 games into the season and uh, I'm just about mid-table. I'm 10th I'm in the league at the moment with Bath as you can see here from the table there on the bottom left of your screens and then uh, I've just played St Albans in my last episode you can go back and look at that and we had a fantastic one all draw um, on reflection I'm like that is such a good result like to be fair Bath are supposed to be relegating but getting relegated but I'm supposed to be fighting against it and we just drew one all with top of the league and so I'm really happy about that actually I'm like yeah well done me I'm doing pretty well um, in other news, I've got real striker issues in that two, well, three really of my key strikers are out. You can see there on my squad, Andy Watkins um, is out, Jamie Spencer is out. Um, oh, actually, no, it's only two because my other one, David Pratt, who is also my captain, is back for the first time. Now, whether he'll last for a whole game, I don't quite know. But I've got this guy, Nick Makuti, who um, scored in the last game his first ever goal and it was really good and everyone was like oh this is amazing these are the best things things ever and um so he's um, i've decided to give him a game to give him a shot today again um apart from that the other thing that i've done i'll show you my under 21s um this sort of little few speckles of green there um I've, my kind of tactic for getting new players particularly in the lower league clubs is to give them a trial first um, and I shove them into the under 21s give them a couple of games there for a, I usually get them on trial for four weeks play them there see how they do and then if they seem to do well if they kind of bubble to the surface as kind of notable notable um, performances then I might then begin to go right okay I'll loan you out you know um, so I've got this guy here oh maybe I shouldn't even try and pronounce it it's just deeply humiliating for me and insulting to him but Franz Chionong Ngasa, uh, 21 year old from Cameroon, um, he is um, with me, Benjamin Beckles and Jason Rowe I've just brought in and there are a few others waiting in the wings as well that I'm probably going to um, get on uh, trial as well. There's probably about 10 players there actually, um, but I'm still waiting for them to come through. Um, but meanwhile I am playing Haven and Waterlooville. Uh, I've I'll show you the team that I've got. I've got two up front, David Pratt and Miss Makut, this Makuti guy, um, who scored a goal last time around. Chaz Hemmings, who I was raving about in the last video, but I'm now on reflection thinking maybe he's not that great a player. But as you can see, it actually is a little bit awkward in this position. Um, and I'm just wondering, oh yeah, maybe I um, maybe I should just sort of, you know, bump him up as a striker. But I'm going to leave him there for one more game. And see how it goes. Um, would love to hear your thoughts. Is this a good setup? Does this work? Um, what do you think? Um, and then I've got this guy Adelsbury in the middle, um, four at the back. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, one of my kind of problems I'm having as well is fitness. Now at least they're all above 90, 90, 95 ish, which isn't bad. I suppose probably the best condition they've been in in one of my games <laughs> that I've had yet. Um, and then in terms of match sharpness, some of them are still looking quite low on match sharpness. So that's the problem. They're not able to really last it out for a whole game. Um, but I'll submit this team. Um, let's see how we get on. Um, oh, you know what? I'd really love a win. Come on, boys. I'd love a win today. I'd love it. I'd absolutely love it. It would take us to a new realm of Bath City, you know what I mean? If we can get into this top half of the table, that is one step to glory. Um, you can see a David Pratt, my key man. Bath captain is a quality player and can be relied upon to hit the back of the net. So can we rely on him today? That's the question. That is the question that is on all of our lips today. Um, we can only hope, we can only dream, but with a bit of luck, it might happen. Um, so let's press on with this game, shall we? Um, okay. Uh, again, my my assistant manager just isn't up for doing that. Isn't up for giving me any kind of advice. Um, so I just mark the strikers and see if there are any other players that I really recognise. Scott Donnelly, I think I vaguely recognise him. I recognise James Hayter. He's their striker. He's, a good, he's scored quite a few goals in his time. Let's just look at his stats. Two points. He's not worth that much actually. Um, you know, his top stats seem to be sort of teamwork and vision. So actually, he's not that good a player, but maybe he just had a lot of, lot of luck against me. I don't know. But anyway, well, well. Some, sometimes I'm just that bad and I'm getting goals really easy. 
Okay, I'm gonna go assertive this time, try something different with my team talk. Nothing seems to be working so far. Um, good luck out there today. Anything? Nah, see, again, again, they're not saying things. Like, what, what do you guys do for your team talks at the moment? Are you finding them help? Are they, are they working for you? Are your team talks making a difference? I'm, they don't seem to be for me in the beta. I don't know if they, well, let's think. I don't know what the problem of the, is the beta and what problem is me. Um, there have been a lot of injuries, which I think is probably a bit of a glitch with the with the beta. Um, and I do sympathise with some of the people who are saying the goalkeepers are a bit rubbish. Uh, but but yeah, I think something like this, the team talk, probably is is not you know isn't necessarily uh, the computer side. It's my fault. Anyway, here we are. Two minutes in. Haven't at Waterlooville. We're at home. We're at Bath. We can do this, boys. Come on. Come on. Ten minutes in. We've got the most possession. This is a good start. Good, solid, strong start, boys. Okay, let's make some changes here. Make some changes, make some changes. That's one thing about this assistant manager. He doesn't give me much before the game, but during the game, he gives, you know, he's giving me these little drops of in the news feed that I like. Um, and I tend to just click them. I tend to just go with it because I'm like, you can see more than me. All I can see are the little highlights, the little blobs going on around the screen. So you've got to trust your assistant manager to a certain degree, don't you? So we'll see how we go. Okay, been quite half, quite, quite half, man. Do you know what I mean? Quite half indeed. Right, 39, 40 minutes gone. Doesn't seem to be doing much, is there? Let's see what match stats are going on. I've had five shots. Oh, here we go. We're into a highlight. It's Morgan on the attack. Oh, well, cleared out there by Ball. They've still got it. Swallows on the right. He crosses it in. Patterson. Oh! No one was marking him. He got away. Well, he got away from his marker quite easily. Just stepped ahead of him. Just stepped in. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, boy. Just like that, obviously. Why don't I play professional football? Eh? Patterson, there he goes. Oh, look at that. Goalkeeper left standard. Stranded and standing, stranded and standing. Right. Come on. So they have given away a lot of fouls actually so far. Oh! Come on! Oh! That was poor. That was really poor. Oh dear. That was really poor. He, he tried to intercept him, he didn't really do it, and then it all went wrong. Let's see if it clips into it, if I see this. Yeah, Bowman messed up. Blanchett crosses it in. They paid for our mistake. Right on his near post. Phillips beaten. Oh, dear me. Dear me. 2 0. Come on. Come on, let's get one back before half time. That would be nice. I don't particularly want to go three down before half time. Come on. Pass it out wide. Here's Davies on the right. Left, sorry. Gallinard. David Pratt, captain, back off after injury. Hemmings, we play it forward, play it forward. He has a shot from miles out. <laughs> Way out there, mate. Not a hope. Poor half from us. It's not good. We're the favourites, and this won't just this just won't do exactly. Stop letting yourselves down and sort it out. This is it. Yes! Look much more fired up now. Come on, control. We're gonna take control here. We are going to uh, ooh, tempo. We're going to go higher, working the ball into the box slightly deeper. That looks all good to me. Get out there, boys! Get out there and make a difference. Come on! Here we go. I think I just love the adrenaline. Don't you? Just you just thrive on the adrenaline of it. <laughs> Jack Smith's on 66%. He's not. Um, he's, he hasn't got much um, life in him. This Jack Smith guy. Although saying that, neither is this one. No, I'm going to bring him on anyway. Okay, and uh, I'll give him a. No, you're capable. Okay, this Will Ampy is like an older, older defender. Um, he hasn't played too great for me so far, but he's done all right. He's, you know, he's done all right. I'll give him that. I, he's, he's, I'm reasonably happy with him. 
I've been looking a little bit at the training as well, um, the team training particularly, just looking ahead at a few weeks and trying to work out where, trying to get a decent balance of the training um, in. Um, I think there's probably space in my squad to get a coach, so I'll probably be doing that soon as well. Shout out just picked up a knock. Okay, let's um, bring this guy on then, Chris Allen. He prefers to play as an advanced playmaker. He prefers it support, so we'll put him as an advanced playmaker in support. He does play as an attacking midfielder centre, so that's okay. Um, you know what, I don't trust any of my players to get not get injured. Um, there just seems to be a lot of injuries, do you know what I mean? There are a lot of injuries and I don't quite trust. Um, yeah, I just, I just don't trust my team to not get an injury in this last half hour. There seems to be a lot of injuries. Are you finding there's lots of injuries at the moment? Like, on your games, on your saves in the beta? Um, I would love to know. Is, is that sort of a common thing that happens in the beta? This is the first year I've ever had the beta, so... I'm interested to know. I don't know whether it's just me and the psychological thing of like, oh, it's a beta, so there's got to be problems. Do you know what I mean? Okay, 67 minutes. We're still two down. I think we're going to have to start going a bit more attacking. Really. There's uh, not particularly much going on. We're not pushing forward much. Not making much many changes here. Let's, have a, let's pause. Let's just have a look at the team. What's my midfield looking like? See, Ben, this guy's looking quite tired. So if I went, I think what I might do is go to three up front, which might well be dicey to do, but I'm going to take the risk. Um, so we're going to take off, yeah, we've got Reese Hales now. Look at that, going from a from three or four of my strikers injured to having three up front, boom. It's a, this is a turnaround, this is a turnaround. I know you're capable. Go on, retails. You haven't scored many for us yet, but you can do it today. You can do it today, my friend. This is it. Last 20 minutes, two goals. I can see it coming. Just two goals in, and then the last minute. Oh, there's the third. That's what I want to see. That is what I want to see. Whether I'm going to see that. I'm, time's now running out, so I probably won't. 79th minute. Oh, no. See, we're not, um, we're not even getting many, like... Like we had seven shots on target the whole game. Let's pause it again. Pause it again. We need a team talk. Passionate. Push forward. I think I'm, I'm far too late for all of this. I'm completely recognising it now. Five minutes to go. 100%. I'm not going to get those two goals or third goal or maybe even one goal. I don't even think I've got one goal in me today. It doesn't look good. David Pratt's tired. He's captain's at it. He's like, let's go home, mate. X Factors on tonight, do you know what I mean? That's how he's feeling. Oh, and here are haven't surely they can't make it three. That'll be just a kick in the face. Well done, well done, good challenge. Last ditch challenge. Come on, Gallin, I'll just 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 clear it out. I just don't want to lose another goal. It's like ping pong, these last this last minute. Clear it. Stum, stum. Okay, we'll forget about this game as quick as we can, everyone. Let's just let's just pretend this never happened. We should be we should be winning these games. Yeah, far from pleased. Good, they're motivated by that. Good. Okay, so uh, none of our players really played that well. That was a real shame, real shame. But you know, you move on, you press on to new things, new eras, new places, new. I don't know what the new things. Um, oh, there's a video report on him. He's out for four weeks, so that is another injury I've got. <laughs> fans devastated. Oh, they're devastated. I'm sorry, fans. If you're a Bath City fan watching this, I'm sorry. All right, just off to accept my condolences. Not condolences. My apologies. What do you say? Condolences of. I don't know. What, I don't know what I'm talking about. It's um, getting late. I've lost the game I just need to stop now so uh, oh well let me just see where I'm at 13th in the league I'm on the downward spiral one drawn lost is this a beginning of a losing streak or can I turn it around for good um, 
do tune in to the next episode um, of making Bath City beta, a beta Bath City, whatever I want to call it. Um, we'll see you next time. Um, if uh, if you like this stuff, if you like this content, do hit a like button. I'd love you to do that. Um, I'd also love you to subscribe if you haven't already um, to see more videos. And uh, you can also catch me on Twitch at Worst Football Manager Ever on Twitch. Um, also I'm on Twitter at Worst F Manager as well. But for now, we'll see you next time when I will be playing Western Super Mare or Dartford or Hemel Hempstead. See how far I get. Um, on the build up to the first knockout game of the season, the FA Cup second round qualifying, which I always love a good knockout. But until then, I am the worst football manager ever, and I'll see you later.